Welcome everyone. My project is wireless charging of mobile phone by microwave energy harvesting. I would like to thank my guide Dr. G. Murugabobadi for his guidance right through the inception of this project. Let's now go straight into the project. The ultimate aim of this project is to charge a mobile phone on the go in wireless manner. And how this is done? This is done by harvesting the radiations that are emitted by a mobile base station. That is, those radiations are in the form of RF energy and this energy can be converted to DC form of energy by using a rectifier circuit at an optimum operational point. This rectified output is sent to the management and storage unit for an optimum power level. And this opti optimized output is sent to a mobile phone to get it charged. Well, I did a brief literature survey about uh, this concept and uh, about this project. The first one was by Marian and Valarel. Uh, the paper was, it was a strategy for microwave energy harvesting from ambient field or a feeding source. This, pro this particular paper explained a novel rectina architecture for a 900 MHz to 2.4 GHz operation. This uh, paper was very good and the efficiency level that they mentioned was better and uh, the design was obviously simple but the disadvantages were the output that was produced was low and it required some of the most advanced switching topologies. The next paper is Power Management System for Online Low Power RF Energy Harvesting Optimization by Daglow. This paper depicted the use of a small microcontroller based power management system with online power stage, efficiency, optimization and maximum power point tracking. This project was accurate and there were a lot of wide range of operating points. But the only disadvantage that I found out is that uh, a use of an external microcontroller for maximum power point tracking. I would like to now explain the architecture diagram of uh, this project. The transmitter setup comprises of a bit of supplies that creates a sign whose output is then encouraged into an intensifier as you can see here and uh, that is at last uh, yield through an emanating receiving wire that is the air interface. The RF source is a circuit that yields a sign at a client specified recurrence and voltage. The reach of frequencies of the sign generator dwells in the radio recurrence band that is 3 superhertz that is 3 mahahertz to be more precise to 3 gigahertz. The next session is about the antennas that are used in this project. There are majorly two functions of these antennas. The first one is to turn current on a wire into airborne waves and vice versa. Here its work of impedance matching is done so that to gain more power from the mobile base station. And a circular antenna is used here for receiving the RF signal from our transmitter section. The next is about the rectifier used here. Its function is, ma is majorly to convert an incoming RF signal to DC signal that is fed into the battery. Efficient rectification improves the output power. The next slide is about my contribution for this project. To be more precise, rather than mentioning it as a contribution, it can be you know, considered as a challenge. The first one is how to boost the obtained power and the second one is how to avoid the hazards. With respect to the first question, different configurations can be used to convert the electromagnetic waves into DC signal. Power is boosted by good matching of the input impedance and also by increasing the reduction sensitivity at low levels of power. And with respect to the second one, here by chance if the power level increases, then the changing level even will be constant by using a controlled rectification technology. The hardware requirements of this project is in an antenna that is a circular antenna and a transmitter model, a rectifier setup 
and a charging pin to mobile phone. Well, here is a picture of charging circuit which consists of an antenna, a rectifying circuit along with a charging pin. Here, antenna from the transmitter slide starts to dissipate power in the form of RF energy. Then, the receiving antenna at a good line of sight traps the RF energy and then sends it to the rectification unit. The rectification unit converts the received RF energy into DC form. Then, DC energy is utilized to charge mobile phone in wireless manner. A voltage level of 100 microvolt to 600 microvolt is expected to achieve from antenna and then fed to the rectifier output to get an output current of 1.5 amps and a voltage of 3 volt to 3.9 volt as shown in simulated screenshots 